Hey everybody, Eric Songer here with you. It's our weekly podcast of what's going on in the Chaska Middle School West Band program. I do this every week to kind of catch you up on what's coming up and what's just been going on and uh, just all the great things going on with our 240 kids at CMSW that meet up in the band room every day. So um, today I'm going to just talk a little bit about uh, what's happening and uh, after school and some events that are coming up. Also recap a couple things that just happened this past week of interest. So I hope you enjoy the next 10 minutes here. So let me just start out by saying for the week of March 13th, we will be having our band lessons for every grade level again, sixth grade on Monday and Tuesday, seventh grade Wednesday and Thursday, and eighth grade on Friday. Um, eighth graders, we're actually starting up a new unit of lessons this week with our production projects being over. Uh, we're going to put you into ensembles, and what we're going to be doing is having the uh, flute quartet and saxophone quintet that have been established already continue to meet, and they'll meet first hour this week. And then the rest of the woodwind players will be in a woodwind ensemble that will meet at the beginning of the second hour. And then all of the brass players will be in a brass ensemble that will meet the second half of second hour. And then all the percussion will be in a percussion ensemble that will meet at the beginning of third hour. I also have one more group that I'm forming called the Funky Horns. And I'm going to be handpicking that group. If any of you are interested in being in a group that plays some, uh, the best way I can explain it is like horn line. Uh, music that you would hear like in a pop tune, uh, but without the rhythm section, just like brass and woodwinds playing together. This would not be a percussion oriented group, but if you're interested in being in a group like that, the music would be quite challenging. Um, that would be called the Funky Horns. You can let me know if you want to be in it, and this Friday it will meet halfway through third hour. And those groups won't always meet those hours. It'll just be this Friday, and then they'll rotate like our band lessons have in the past. So looking forward to doing that with the eighth grade. Um, also, bonus lessons are being offered as usual this month. The bonus lessons are bass guitar, and that will be on Tuesday this week. And then also our drum set and four mallet lessons will continue on the block days. And yes, we do have block days again this week. It's one of the few weeks during March and April that we have our block days uh, due to all the testing going on at CMSW. So that's the band lesson schedule. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on before and after school. It's jazz band season. We are in the thick of it right now. So sixth grade jazz band Tuesday after school this week. And both the seventh and eighth grade jazz bands will meet Thursday after school this week. Our rhythm section will be meeting before school Thursday this week. So nothing new there. You guys are all used to that. We have our Morning Star DJs performing all through the week every day except Tuesday this week. Um, we're going to have DJ Amy down there on Monday. Uh, DJ Caleb on Wednesday, DJ Kenna on Thursday. Um, I might get Madeira to come down on Tuesday because Friday we have a very special event going on. I'm just going to share that with you right now. Our rhythm section is going to be playing down at breakfast in the cafeteria, probably starting around 7, 10 a.m. and playing all the way up to the bell to start first hour. So a special treat for those of you who like to come down and eat breakfast. Our rhythm section is just killing it this year, so I'm excited for you to hear that. And then all three of our jazz bands will be playing during lunch and they'll be playing at their grades lunch shifts. So eighth grade jazz will be playing at 11, sixth grade jazz band 11.25, and then the seventh grade jazz group will be playing at 11.50. Uh, for jazz band members, you will get to eat. You're just gonna come down about 20 minutes before your regular lunch shift and come down and have your lunch before you play. So uh, just the way you know we should always do it, eat and then blow it right through your horn, right? So you might wanna bring a toothbrush and some toothpaste to. Uh, to uh, take care of that before you jam on Friday. Parents, by the way, you are welcome to join us that day if you'd like to come during your child's performance. We'd love to have you there. So also coming up, one reason we're having the jazz bands play on Friday is because their uh, seventh and eighth grade are getting ready to go to the Head of the Lakes Jazz Festival in Duluth, Minnesota at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Very excited about that. That's going to be taking place this coming Saturday, March 18th. We're going to be meeting at 7 a.m. I know it's early on a Saturday. 7 a.m. We'll be meeting at CMSW to, uh, to get on our, our charter bus and go on up to Duluth. We'll get up there uh, between 10.30 and 10.45, and we'll be going to some clinics and then having some lunch. And then in the early afternoon, we're going to be playing and listening to some other bands. Uh, Chess Middle School East is also coming up, so we'll get to hear them play. 
and then we're going to have an early dinner that will will precede an evening concert that will feature the legendary saxophone great Ernie Watts and uh, also the UMD Jazz Ensemble. So we'll hear that concert before we get back on our bus and head back and probably get back to Chaska somewhere in the vicinity of 9.30, 9.45 p.m. So it's going to be a great day for our jazzers in Jazz 7 and Jazz 8. And uh, really looking forward to, to doing that. And if you have any questions, Jazz 7 and Jazz 8 people, feel free to let me know. There is a charge of $30, which helps cover the upgrades at the coach bus and also the tickets for that Ernie Watts UMD Jazz Band concert. And uh, we're going to be wearing our usual dark pants on the bottom, nice solid colored shirt on top. And uh, make sure you have your instrument and your music. We will be able to get into the band room in the morning when we get to the school. We will not be able to get into the locker area of the school. So as long as your stuff's in the band room, we'll be able to access that before we go. And uh, should be a great trip. And by any chance, if there's uh, parents who still want to chaperone, we'd love to have you um, come along. Just let me know. I got a couple extra seats on the bus for you if, if you get back to me here in the near future. So exciting time coming up for our jazz bands. We haven't been to Duluth, uh, the Duluth Jazz Festival, I think in six years. So it's going to be great to get back up there. They run a great festival up there. Ryan Frain is the director. And so um, our kids are in for a real treat. So looking forward to that. Um, other things coming up besides the jazz band stuff, looking a little further out, we have our District 112 Mid-Level Honor Band starting up on Thursday, March 23rd. I'm pumped this year because I get to direct it. I haven't directed the Honor Band in about four years now. And I'll be doing that alongside my colleague, Gina Ford, who teaches at West as well. So we're going to be having a lot of fun directing that group. And again, it starts on Thursday, March 23rd after school. It's at West this year. And we'll meet every Thursday, except for that one over spring break, all the way through June 1st. And we'll go till 3.30 in the afternoon. And then we have a tour of elementary schools on Friday, June 2nd. And then a concert on Monday, June 5th that will be at Chanhassen High School. I think originally it might have been advertised for Chaska. We're going to be doing it at Chanhassen High School in their theater at 7 p.m. on Monday, June 5th. So uh, if your child has been asked or if you've received an email uh, for them to be an honor band, um, let me know if you haven't already, if they can do it. And um, if you have a child that hasn't been asked to do it and you uh, would like them to, or if you are one of the students listening and you would like to do it, please talk to me and we'll see if we can find a spot for you. Um, so that will be the honor band starting up here on Thursday, March 23rd. Uh, looking ahead after spring break, uh, we have a great concert feature on jazz bands on Tuesday, April 4th called the Big Band Extravaganza. It's also going to feature uh, our alumni jazz band uh, along with Jazz 6, Jazz 7, Jazz 8, and also a guest big band that Gina Ford uh, plays trombone in. So we're really excited to have them come and play with us. So that'll be at 6.30 p.m. in our large gym on Tuesday, April 4th. And then uh, this is awesome. Um, we're going to restart the Latin Mariachi Band coming up here on Monday, April 10th. It's going to meet after school. It'll be on Mondays, every Monday in the West Band Room till 3.30 through um, whatever the week before Memorial Day is. I think that's Monday, May 22nd. So we'll meet all those Mondays, uh, except I think except for one, the Monday after Easter, which I believe is the 17th. We will not meet. So, and that is open to anybody. It is uh, free. It does not run through community ed. It's just kids who are interested in learning how to play mariachi music. And we're looking for people who play or want to play guitar, um, sing, Latin percussion. Um, I'm not going to be teaching trumpet or violin, but if you have trumpet or violin skills, we'd love to have you and have you join us because we definitely need those instruments in a mariachi band. So, and we might do a performance. We'll kind of see how things go. Um, we've done this um, many of the past years. Sometimes we have a group that wants to go perform uh, and other times we don't. So uh, we'll see what happens. So really looking forward to Latin Mariachi Band. If you're interested, just come and see me. I should have a form ready to go for that in the uh, next few days. And I'll, I'll get that available to the student body at West. And then the um, couple other events coming up in April, just real quick. Uh, we have our State Honor Band, which five of our students, Sage Martin, Hannah Olson, Lily Paul, Bobby Belares, and Lauren Gazinski all were selected for this year, and they'll be performing at the State Honor Band uh, concert, which just happens to be right here in town, Chanhassen High School this year on Sunday, April 23rd at 2 p.m. And then we have our Soul and Ensemble Festival coming up on Saturday, April 29th, and that will be at Pioneer Ridge Middle School this year. 
kids can sign up for a time between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. to come play a solo or a small chamber ensemble group. If you are interested in being in Sewing Ensemble, you should talk to me before March 23rd, before spring break, so we can get you some music and uh, make sure we reserve a slot for you to perform. So looking forward to that, too. Uh, as far as stuff that has just been happening lately, we had a great visit this past Friday from Mark Yanni, who is an incredible woodwind player, uh, plays saxophone, clarinet, and flute. Uh, he did a flute and clarinet masterclass at our school, uh, and uh, it was really wonderful to hear him get into some technical things to help our flute and clarinet students. Uh, Mark teaches private lessons here in the area, so any flute, clarinet, saxophone players who are interested in taking some private lessons, come talk to me, and uh, I'll get you connected with Mark and see if we can get you set up for some weekly lessons through him. Um, also, a huge congratulations to all the students who were part of an honor band experience last weekend. We had two students, Bobby Blairs and Medora Riley, who were at the Regional Jazz Festival at Lakeville South, who uh, just played great in that concert. And uh, Bobby played a great solo, actually had like three solos, so it was really cool to hear Bobby um, just uh, slamming it on saxophone. And then we had 12 students down in Decorah, Iowa at the Tri-State Honor Band Festival. And uh, they, they did a great job. Um, see if I can list them off here off the top of my head real quick. Eighth graders, we had Rachel Iden, and we had Lily Paul, and Maxwell Ullman, and Jamie Lyman, and Sage Martin. And then seventh graders, we had Hannah uh, Erlinowski, Sydney Kermeyer, we had Jordan Sayer, and Sean Bartles, and John Schwinger, and Anthony Steinhoff and Timmy Klein. So congratulations to all 12 of those kids on performing at Decora. And uh, another thing that's just gone down that's really cool is our eighth graders just got done with a really cool production project where they either created an original song or did a cover of an existing song using the GarageBand software, their own band instruments, and some singing or rapping or speaking skills and sometimes uh, some other instruments such as piano, guitar, ukulele, drum set, there are a lot of other instruments involved in the performance on these production projects. Um, I'm gonna be putting these projects on Google Classroom and uh, it'll probably take me a couple weeks to get those all up and running so you can uh, listen to those. Uh, keep in mind, they're just audio, they're not videos. So, uh, but I'd love for you to be able to enjoy what everyone put together because there was some really incredible work and uh, if I can just go on a sidebar here real quick, when we teach music, and when I teach music, it's more than just the traditional concert band classroom, although that's really, really important. There's more to it when it comes to learning about music than just playing notes on a piece of paper and performing three concerts a year. And this production project involved a lot of other skills in our students. Our students had to create their own song. They had to use their ear to come up with their own ideas. They had to be able to figure out melodies and figure out chords and bass lines and harmonies. They had to find a way to implement their band instrument without having anything written down. They had to find a way to work together as a team to come up with a cohesive project, work together. They had to use production skills to make sure volumes were balancing out well and to put certain effects on instruments that they wanted. So there was a lot that went into this project and it was really, really cool. We've been working on this since January and I'm very proud of the eighth graders. So great work to all of you on this. So, all right, so I'm gonna wrap up by just letting you know if you need to get a hold of me, my email is songere at district112.org. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter at CMSWBand. And you can also get reminders via text if you wanna sign up for the Remind app where I send out texts uh, a few times a week on things that are coming up and going on. And the way you do that is you send a text to the number 81010. And in the message, you include one of these three message lines, either at 16-17-band6, at 16-17-band7, or at 16-17-band8. And then you can get a hold of and get, get text reminders from me. Um, so it would be great if you could do that, if you would like. So there you go. That's our weekly look at what's going on in the CMSW band department. Um, be back here again next week for our pre-spring break podcast. And uh, hard to believe that our, our school year is more than two-thirds of the way done. So uh, very excited to be working with these kids and uh, great families out there. Um, I'm living the dream, as I always say. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, everybody.